Article 4 provides us with the further detail in relation to what the letter of rights should include. Again, I think it is vitally important that the letter appears to be an official document, is provided with a degree of a seriousness and a earnestness, and is therefore one which a person in detention is likely to take seriously. It is, however, a limited insofar as it refers to the provisions in accordance with national law, and therefore it is not in itself a measure that will apply in identical terms across the European Union. It is nonetheless an official document and one that the suspected person is going to be entitled to keep in their possession. It will specify the extent of their access to materials in the case. It will inform them of their right to have consular authorities informed, the right to urgent medical assistance, and to advise them of the maximum number of hours or days that they may be deprived of their liberty before being brought before a court. An earlier draft made reference to specific child-friendly language in cases of child detainees, but that was dropped from the final measure. The letter of rights shall also contain basic information about any possibility under national law of challenging the lawfulness of the arrest, obtaining a review of the detention, or making a request for provisional release. Again, these are important uh, items of information to communicate, but are more likely uh, to be beyond the capacity of the average detainee to understand and clearly legal advice in relation to how that might operate. It would be essential. Where the letter of rights is not available in the language that the person understands, and of course if the person is illiterate, this would be a, another example of it, the person shall be informed of their rights orally in a language that they understand. A letter of rights in a language that they understand shall then be given to them without undue delay. So one can imagine the situation where a person is arrested uh, and it transpires that they are from, shall we say, the Philippines or China, where there is a dialect that is not immediately available on the panel of interpreters uh, in the local police station, uh, that uh, the information will be given orally, and there can be a number of ways obviously that can be done, and then a uh, reduced writing at a later point, but there should be no undue delay. Persons shall be, in, uh, shall be informed of the reasons for their arrest or detention, including the criminal act that they are suspected or accused of having committed. Any change in the status of the investigation must be communicated without delay uh, to the uh, detained person.